Morning everyone and welcome to a new Florida vlog and unfortunately it is our full last day today. Sad times, it goes so quick, they go quicker and quicker every trip I tell you. They do, I can't, I, I don't even feel like we've been here for a week, never mind two weeks. I know, it goes very, very quickly but we're up and about, it's uh, currently 8am, a uh, pest control man's just been and sprayed the villa. Uh, doing all the pest control every every month i think they pop round and spray some little bits around the home inside and outside uh, just to prevent any bugs and stuff like that uh, so he's a nice guy just chatting with him and then we're off to celebration starbucks it's got to be done celebration we we'll have a little starbucks there and then we'll see where we end up i don't know what we're going to do today we're going to take it as it comes yeah no we haven't made a decision i feel on what we want to do no we might go for a little breakfast we might go to a park we don't know yet but first thing on the list is definitely to go for a little coffee at starbucks so that's where we're off to now it's a gorgeous morning let's, uh, let's head to my lake Here we are then, one of our favorite places in the whole of Florida, which is Celebration. We're gonna enjoy a little Starbucks. They're doing the grass, they're the leaf blowing. I love all that, love all that. Oh, ready for coffee. Definitely I wish we could do this every weekend, but uh, well, then it wouldn't be a novelty though. Gotta go home to come back as they always say. Oh, there it is. One of the last lemon loafs I'm gonna have this trip. I'm gonna miss them. A ah, bit of boogie fever. I'll be feeling boogie fever after this Starbucks, Laura. Just reminds me of the Minions ride, that one. Oh, here it is then, our favourite lake, Laura. Oh, we're going to miss it. Look at the sound of the beds. and Oh, it's just lovely out here. Met some lovely subscribers in Starbucks who came over and said hello. Uh, a couple of couples. So if you're watching, uh, thanks for popping over. It's nice to chat and see people coming down to celebration and loving it just as much as we do it's uh look at all the birds around and got a turtle just there it's just the views we love it absolutely love it one one day we will stay in the celebration uh, hotel one day. see what it's like oh yeah i just love the sounds i could just sit here all day just chilling out i think next trip as well we need to do the bikes again we haven't done the bikes for a couple of trips now oh, yeah. I think next time we'll do the bikes, giving it a little bit of a break. I think next time we'll do the bikes. Used to love the Segway tour, yeah. Used to love that. Next trip as well, we will be doing those uh, Segways, the off-road ones. That'll be nice. Yeah, it's stunning. We're just gonna have a little bit of a chill, drink our coffees, and then we'll work out where we're gonna go for the rest of the day and what we're gonna do. What are you thinking? Too much to choose, too much want to do, too much want to see, too much want to get the last bit of joy out of. Yeah. yeah, it's tricky, always tricky on the last day to decide exactly what you want to yeah. do. A lot of people do last minute shopping and stuff, don't they, as well. We'll have a think, how we uh, relax and soak in these views. So we've got a little view of a gator here just swimming along. Nice view, everyone's uh, taking a few pictures of the gator. Wonder if he's the same one as we saw last time. Some fish down here. And then if you're looking for Wilson, he's here floating around. Poor Wilson. He's gonna batter Tom Hanks. <laughs> he was so sad that he lost them. There's no way of getting it out, unfortunately. Someone will get it out at some point. But yeah, yeah, just gator just chilling along. I wonder if he is the same one as uh, we saw last time. You normally hanging around here. A lot of you sent pictures of him and stuff. Yeah, I was taking a little wander, wander through. All the dogs are out getting their uh, treats from the wolf gang over there. Look at him, he's gorgeous, isn't he? Let's have a little look at this fountain. Now we uh, decide where we're going to go and what we're going to do. 
I just love wandering around here. Everyone we've spoken to as well is just loving the place. Five minutes from Disney, but a completely different vibe. Yeah. So relaxed, isn't it? Just super chill, nice relaxed. And it is like a proper get 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 away from the um, parks, is it? From the hustle and bustle. Yes. Yeah, totally different to uh, your theme park atmosphere and stuff. You want to mingle with the locals. Yeah. Yeah, you got the people walking the dogs and little coffee, nice little restaurants. The diner's good for breakfast as well. There you go. Very nice, very nice indeed. Here comes the doggo. Right, so we need to uh, decide where we're going, what we're up to, where we're off to. Mm. Someone doing a little photo shoot over there. What are you thinking, Laura? Theme park? Theme park? Yeah. Or breakfast? Lunch? Too many options now, too many options. I know, too many Hello. options. We could go and do an English breakfast, then do a park, or we could do an English breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you go, fountains come on. Well, I'm going to watch the fountain while you decide. Okay. So there's another place here that we said we were going to film on our last trip and we didn't. And then we, it sort of just slips your mind, always write it down because we said we were going to come and film Le Macaron for a breakfast and a coffee and stuff and then we didn't get a chance, we'd just I forgotten about it. We'll start, when we get home, we'll write down. What start writing doing. a list, yeah. If you think of anything like, oh, I wish we'd do that on the next trip, make sure you write it because you get here and you always forget. Like, what was that thing that we said we were going to do? I know, but you remember your last thing, like, oh, that was it. Yeah, you start racking your brains. Yeah. So that's another one we need to add for uh, next trip, La Macaron. For a little uh, coffee, a bit of a bite. So we've actually got two gators here now. We've got one over there, which is a bit bigger, and a little smaller one floating on in here as well. It's coming for you, Laura. They knew you were here. <laughs> They've been told. Just to obviously make sure you don't feed them. That's the uh, most important don't thing. Don't get too close to them either. Yeah. Because they are and as calm as they look, do not get close to them. Yeah, don't get close. Don't get in the water. Don't paddle your feet and don't feed them and they will well leave you alone. Okay, so we've come down the highway. Uh, we're on uh, Highway 27 and we've come to best of british we're going to be trying a proper english breakfast over here in florida so we'll see exactly how it compares it's meant to be the proper english bacon proper english sausage you can get like a proper english full full english you see that's one thing that like british miss on holiday is the british beans yeah and like the tomatoes like your dad always misses the plum tomatoes yeah plum tomatoes baked beans are always missing from the breakfast yeah proper bacon that isn't you know the american streaky stuff as nice as that is sometimes you just want british yeah it's nice for change i like i don't mind the american breakfast but i know like mom dad you and that you miss the you know your eggs the way you'd have them yeah the beans and all of that but with, i think they do other things as well so they've got an evening menu like shepherd's pie and fish and chips like proper british food so if you do miss it could be worth coming here we'll see what it's like uh, yeah. we didn't take too long to get here from celebration 15 we'll see minutes what the chips are like as well if the chips not fries mm, that'd be an interesting one so it is meant to be good to get a good reputation it's being recommended to us so we're going to give it a well a proper english breakfast in uh it's more uh, we're more in near where we stayed in our first villa so up near uh, Claremont area, that sort of about 25 minutes from your destination Disney will be area. Yeah, not too far. Let's have a little look. See, I'm looking forward to this. So am I. Gonna maybe build my own breakfast. I don't do Ooh. eggs, but Laura could get a full English minus the toast and stuff. Yeah, we'll see. See if they've got anything gluten free, but you can always build your own anyway, even yeah, if they haven't. That's can... all I do, anyways, isn't it? So the best of British cafe. Oh, the way it's called a cafe as well. Yeah, it's, uh... That's proper British, isn't it? Your yeah, destination you the, is on the left. Uh, wait till you see this the phone box and everything outside. That's pretty cool. Here we are then, the best of British cafe. We've got sweets, tea, cakes, bacon, pop, treats, breakfast, pies. They have a quiz night, karaoke. They've got like a pub style going on. Love the little British uh, telephone box outside as well. 
That's good, isn't it? Yeah. LC's Community Library, so you can actually uh, do a little bit of a book swap if you want. Oh my God, what a name, British name, LC as well. That's pretty good, so this is going to be good fun. Really looking forward to this. Let's see how we get on. Homemade cheese and onion or corn, beef and potato, pasties, chips and beans. Oh Available Monday to Saturday, $16. I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, it's not going to be like super, super cheap as in the UK because they've imported all this stuff, but I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty cool. We've got all your uh, English sweets and treats in here, all different signs and memorabilia around, and I've got all of your uh, English stuff in here, Laura. It's all going on, even your Weetabix and everything, if you've forgotten anything. And there it is, <laughs> the big beans. Well, they know exactly what the uh, what the British want. The old bottles of Prime, Marmite, Pickle Lily, Nando's stuff as well. That's good, isn't it? Look at all the frozen stuff as well you can get. Your Mr. Kipling's. Oh, you know I love me batten bags on this channel. Steak and kidney pie. Oh, there's some good stuff in here. Then all your uh, English cans as well. Oh, this is really good. They've even got English TV on Laura Five Star. Even got <laughs> it's Iceland stuff they got in. Yeah, there's a lot of Iceland stuff, yeah. Oh, that's mad, isn't it? Mental. It's really good. Really good. I love all the stuff around as well, like Oasis and oh this is gonna be nice. I'm looking forward to this. Proper home from home English cafe. This I've ordered for a drink. <laughs> Laura's gone for a Yorkshire tea. I've gone for a bottle of Prime. Oh, cool! <laughs> I love that bottle of Prime. I've gone for. But yeah, look there you go. There's the Everton one up there, like that. Got everything in here. All the different, uh, all the different stuff. Thank you very much. Perfecto. So yeah, let me just show you the menu. So you've got all different starters here: Scotch egg. Hot sandwiches, combination chicken sandwiches, uh, plowman's platter, picnic sampler. My dad would like that, oh wouldn't he? Oh my god, yeah. And then for mains, you've got like cottage pie, bangers and mash, doner kebab, fish finger butty. That's very British, isn't it? It does look good. And then look at that Sunday lunch, served from one o'clock on a Sunday. Wow. They've even got pigs and blankets. Look at that. Looks good, isn't it? And then your breakfast menu's here, so this is all day. So until half twelve. Uh, on a Sunday it's uh, only till half twelve, so you're full English. You do get two of everything though, so that is a that is a large full English. That's like uh, in Tenerife that'll be a, a double full English, the oh, big yeah, one, two of everything. Yeah. Flying stars, one of each. Toasties, bacon and sausage butties on English bread, British bread kids breakfast that's just nice to come for a little bit of a change isn't it i imagine they probably show all the football in here oh, yeah. as well and it's nice just for something a little bit different it's not miles away from disney what half an hour 25 minutes on the highway easy drive oh yeah i got a proper pot of english tea coming laura well how british me with a bottle of prime <laughs> just to bear in mind again people are still going on at me with the prime this is the hydration stuff it's got no caffeine in there's a, there's a difference i think people just see prime and hear the bad stuff about the cans yeah. and presume it's all the same that's just a non-fizzy non-caffeine very low calorie hydration drink yeah that's all it is just like it's flavored nice, cordial it's just a, it's yeah just a nice drink to drink. it's the cans that are full of all the huge amounts of caffeine really and all yeah. that yeah i won't go near the cans no so uh tea laura that's a proper pot it's of tea with china and everything and look at that nice. nice what are you going for i might go for two fried egg chips and beans mm. proper british they do a proper homemade scone in here with clotted cream and everything Mad, isn't it? I know. Bet you the soup's good as well with crusty bread. But we're coming for breakfast, so I've got to be. See, I might do a full English, but see if I just. I don't do the toast and stuff though, do I? I'm going to see if I can swap things maybe. If not, I might get a nice toasty on uh, the uh, English bread. Why don't you just get a flying star? Yeah. Might do a flying star, so I'll just see if I can build my own. I'll see what we can yeah. do. It's, uh, it's lovely, the guy. These uh, staff are absolutely lovely in here. So they've been open for five years in here. 
Uh, they were in a unit, a couple, a couple of units further down on this little block, uh, which was a bit smaller. They moved into this nice big one. And then unfortunate, unfortunately, if like five days in, everything shut down with COVID. So yeah. they best struggled a bit, but bounced back and they're still here. And uh, loving it, it's something a little bit different, isn't it? We go then look at this proper English bacon, sausage, toast, beans. Look at them, Laura, proper homemade chips, them, aren't they? That is a fried egg. Proper fried that egg, is that, isn't it? Egg. Oh, look at that, you're gonna love that, aren't you? Oh, this looks good. It's going down <clears throat> very, very nicely. The man was just explaining that the bacon is actually homemade in here. Yeah. So it takes 72 hours to make. Uh, they could import the bacon and stuff, but they like to make it themselves and yeah. Yeah, it's mad. He said um, because it's hard to get the eye of the bacon. Yeah. This is the um, medallion, what we call it. Yeah. So he said he just buys his own pork chops and does it in house. Does it in house? Yeah, it's lovely. It's uh, nice, proper, peppery British sausages as well. The sausages are amazing. Yeah, it's lovely. Well, there we go. That was the best of British pub. but really, really like that. They do show all of the football games, including like EFL and things like that. Uh, quite a few people in there were actually Americans, so he said we're getting a lot of more people now, uh, a lot of the Americans now interested in the football, they're coming in and there's a few construction workers there just having a cup of tea and stuff, nice. so a lot of the Americans going in as well. Uh, Sunday Roast, they do definitely recommend making a reservation. Uh, any of the big games or popular games that start early at like 12.30 in the UK, uh, they do open early for those as well so you can always call and check if there if there's a 12 30 game you really want to watch if it's like a you know derby or everton liverpool or you know it's those big big games uh, they do open early and put it on and stuff like that so definitely recommend that food was lovely total bill was 24 dollars yeah for like two reasonable. breakfasts a prime a tea and oh nice and the man was lovely just chatting away and talking about the americans getting more into the soccer as they call it and stuff so yeah, I'd definitely come back. We'll bring mum and dad for a roast next I time, I think. I love it. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, I think when you're getting a bit tired, he was saying, you know, a lot of people, you get after a week, a week or so, you get tired of the, all the, the breakfasts and stuff all start tasting the same. They all that peanut oil all the time. And it's nice to, you know, get a proper English sausage. Nice and... to get a proper fried egg. The Americans do not know how to cook eggs. Yeah, what he was saying was, the only thing they fry in there is the eggs. Yeah. The rest, even like the chips, they don't fry them, they bake them and things like that. Yeah. It, makes, it makes a difference to the taste and stuff. So if you want a bit less fried food as well, we were talking about veggies for a while as well. We are just saying, you know, the other thing people miss are the veggies. He said, yeah, we got a lot of people coming in. They just want to have a nice roast with loads of veggies. The only thing they do over here all the time is broccoli. Yeah. Broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. And a lot of the time it's not, it's either undercooked and like cold or overcooked or they put you know cook it in salt water and stuff so yeah if you're uh, missing home if you want a little bit of uh, british food and stuff definitely come down Brit british products in there as well that you can take away so i think we're going to head to a park now we've just got to decide which one we're going to jump on the highway yeah. and uh, maybe a disney park or I universal so, yeah. one definitely universal tomorrow for early entry yeah. before we fly home yeah we'll have to have a think about that yeah. see what we fancy so everyone, we've decided to have a little couple of hours in Epcot for now, and then we'll see how we get on. Just going to have a little mooch around, maybe do a couple of rides. We'll do a little bit of a Q and A as well, answer some of your questions. Yes, see how we get on. I know, excited. Tell you what, it's gone really warm. The sun's just come out, and the temperature really has ramped up. Overall, though, this trip temperature's been absolutely lovely. It's been really good, hasn't it? Yeah. Everything's done. We have. I haven't been cold of a night you haven't been too hot all the day no it's been pleasant we've had a few rain showers as we mentioned though it doesn't really bother us that oh, yeah it's been it's uh it is, yeah. Yeah, it's been it's, this is probably the hottest i've felt it now yes, really, really ramped out. up now the sun's out so we're parked right towards the back i don't know how busy it's going to be in there we're all the way back in dory and if you remember if you forget what number you've parked in it's because you're in dory <laughs> she forgets all the time well we'll see how uh, how busy it is when we head in it seems to have gone all of a sudden uh, we've noticed now it's actually hit october seems to have all of a sudden gone a little bit busier busier everywhere now all of a sudden we're in the month of october not september anymore 
I don't know whether the people's psychology have changed. Everyone seems to be coming out now. They're behind the yellow line. <laughs> if you are in front of the yellow line, <laughs> you will be run over. I love that. Love it. It's nice to see the annual pass holder entrance is still there as well. The last few times we've gone to a Universal, the pass holder entrance is gone. We're speaking to another pass holder at Universal uh, this morning. They were saying the same. What's happened to the queue? To the, you know, the UOAP queue? And I'm not sure whether they've taken that away temporarily or what's happening at Universal, but it's a bit more of a permanent staple here at uh, Disney with the nice yellow signage. It's very exclusive. It does feel quite nice, although they're all empty anyway, so it doesn't make much of a difference. There you go, we're in. And even after all these trips and being a pass holder for this long, I still forget to make park reservations all the time. Uh, we couldn't get in. I'm like, oh, what's up? And it's like, we've got a park reservation. I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot. So I quickly do it on the website. But we're in. We're in. We're just going to take a chill today. No rushing around. Soak it in, soak up that last bit of atmosphere, yeah. that last bit of magic. I know. Everyone in a good mood, happy, smiley, bit of sunshine around. Yeah. Feeling good. So we're going to head over to Living With The Land, which is only a five minute wait. We haven't done it yet this trip. Now, question for you, Laura, and everyone watching as well. Yeah. If you were going to work in Disney, yeah. what job would you want to have? Would you want to be a character? Would you want to be putting people on the ride? Would you want to be in one of the shops or the canteens? I wouldn't want to be in a canteen. I wouldn't want to put people on the ride. I don't think I could be a character. I'll probably work photographer. in shop. Photographer? Yeah. I want a photographer, yeah. Would you want to be the, one of the protopaths? Yeah. Well, Let me know in the comments what, what would you do. I think I'd quite enjoy being or one of like the, well, I don't know whether I'd enjoy guest relations or not, maybe. Oh, you know, the, you know, the ones that like stand out the front though and just sort of direct you where to go, like ask you what you need and then they either send you inside to guest relations or tell you to go here there or it's a tough one isn't it or would you be one of the ones important job popping around cleaning things up just doing a bit of sweeping and giving the odd little bit of magic to do the little bit of stuff on the floor yeah. sometimes so many jobs what would you go for you've got to work in disney but you can pick which job you're going to have do you want to be a tram driver monorail driver that's what a lot of you'll pick same as me. Skyline or operator, there's so many, isn't there? Let me know. I think I would probably have to go for monorail driver, me. Oh, yeah, and what, what are you going for? In Just one of the, like, the, the gift shop. shops or something, yeah? yeah. Help you find what you want. Okay. Let me know. All right, time for a high speed, turbulent, big drop boat ride. Uh, we did ask about going on the um, behind the seeds tour, but there was no spaces left for today. If you do want to do that behind the seeds tour, which is like in here and you do like a walking tour, don't you? I think you've got to be in in the morning, make sure you get your name down. Forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use. Are exploring innovative ways to produce your. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. One day, Many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. As you see here are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. As a result, we're able to save millions of gallons each year. These plants are definitely on their way up. A thousand heads of lettuce a year in this one. Best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, 
we can increase yields with innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponic system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants. And the pl so we've done living with the land and we've just come across two soaring it was only a 20 odd minute wait so we yeah. thought we'd jump on we're ready to go here we are soaring to tower let's do we this are california one one more time a couple of good little rides done there living with the land and soaring in that meantime as well we did get a boarding group for guardians however whether we'll still be here when they call the group is uh, still to be seen uh, it says estimated about four o'clock and we probably might be gone by then. Uh, we have done a little bit of a QA on uh, Instagram, so I'm going to answer some of those questions as well. Uh, Louise, Kate Cooper, how are you? hi Louise. Um, favourite festival in Epcot? We did mention this the other day in another vlog, didn't we? Yeah. Um, I'd probably say Festival of the Arts for me. Festival of the Arts or Flower and Garden. Flower and Garden's good as well. They're all very, very good in different ways. Uh, food and wine as well, a big feature in that Living With The Land ride, if you notice some different uh, setups there, all aimed at uh, featuring some of the food from uh, Food and Wine here. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, the Blythe underscore home, how's it going? How far in advance do you tend to book flights? It depends, we've booked the last couple quite uh, last minute. It just depends on pricing, availability, how last minute we decide to do a trip. Some people say booking in advance is cheaper. Then some people say booking last minute is cheaper. It's hard to tell. I always just compare them all though on Skyscanner. That's the best way to compare all the airlines, find the best prices. Brings up like a monthly calendar as well. So if you're flexible, you can just click on the days where the price is the cheapest. Uh, it's really, really good and uh, handy Skyscanner. Uh, we'll do one more while we walk. Uh, Michael Berg, is the goal to move to Florida one day? I'm not sure. I don't think so, but who knows in the future? You never ever know what might happen. You never know, but we'll see. Would you live in Florida? There's a question. Would you live here? Years ago, I would have said no, no. Right now, the way things are right now, I wouldn't. Would you live in Florida? No. But, that's not to say, I wouldn't have a holiday home since half the time here. Yeah. Yeah, let us know, would you live here in Florida? I mean, a lot of people would miss the food and family and stuff. Is a long way away to go. Uh, let's see. Steph Lloyd, how's it going? For family, two adults, one eight-year-old, where do you start? Never been before, mind-blowing. So the first thing you want to pick is um, what parks you want to do. Do you want to do them all? Or do you just want to do Disney? If you do want to do both, that's fine. So once you've set that, you want to then start looking at where you're going to stay. Do you want to stay in the hotels on site? Do you want to stay in a Disney hotel and be surrounded by Disney? Or would you rather stay off site, maybe a little bit cheaper? So then if you're going to do both, you maybe look at if you're going to do off site, staying somewhere between them, maybe on iDrive, somewhere like that. Or if you want to do a Disney hotel, you've got to look at pricing, which one's going to suit you best. Uh, from there, you're then obviously going to look at what time of year as well that you want to come. So pick a time of year that is probably going to have to suit the school holidays. So a lot of people come in the summer summertime because it's a little bit more flexible the summer. Pick what time of year you want to come. Then of course start looking at flights as well, flight prices, hotel prices. Then once you've got all that booked, you can then obviously pick uh, which uh, tickets you're going to buy which parks yeah. you're going to do the most important thing is your accommodation and how you're getting around yeah They're the most important things i think whether you want to drive or get the um i drive bus or, or do the transfer transport yeah. disney transport so yeah it's a good question that one good question do let me know what your process is for booking down in the comments to uh help anyone out who hasn't been before i think watching plenty of vlogs as well not just ours there's loads of great informative vlogs out there uh, that will help you with budgeting and pricing and stuff like that and for now though we're heading on to world showcase because i'd like a couple of our buns as a little snack I definitely need a drink as well i would uh, like to have a drink 
because uh, my mouth's a little bit dry after those two rides. Oh, Screaming on living with the land, that was. <laughs> Screaming all the way around. Uh, so right, maybe th maybe throat sore. Yeah. <laughs> milkshakes. Where does milkshakes in Epcot, please, everyone? Lots of questions coming your way. Quick hop to London, that was, Laura. Quick hop, skipping a jump on it. I know, we did enjoy our trip to London. We would like to go back at some point. Did enjoy it over there. Exploring London, expensive, but enjoyed it. It's good fun. Yeah, very expensive. Yeah, very fun. Loads yeah. to do as well. Oh, loads to do in London. You'll never be short of things to do. Yeah, we did enjoy that. Those vlogs are on the channel if you're uh, interested in seeing a little bit of London. Yorkshire County Fish Shop, you can get your fish and chips here. Uh, it's more of a quick serve one, or you can sit down and have them properly in the Rose and Crown pub. Uh, we're making our way round. Of course, you know, the Balbuns are the furthest point yeah. away on the lake, aren't they? Oh God, couldn't, yeah. uh, couldn't have picked a furthest booth to go to for the old uh, Balbuns. But I do enjoy them. Gonna try and keep an eye out for anything different as well along the way. We did spot a nice uh, warm uh, chocolate cake in the Irish, Irish uh, yeah. stand, but it's covered in Baileys and stuff. I'm not a big Baileys fan, am I? No, you're not. I am. But keeping an eye out though. Definitely need a nice little drink as well. Oh, you've got your bun. Oh, straight in there, digging in there, yeah. Nice. Let's have a look inside it. It's not cheap, is it? No, seven fifty, isn't it? I know. It looks like you get two. I know. Time. They've done it cleverly because it cuts one in half. Yeah. It almost looks like you're gonna get two, but it's one. Is nice though. As long as you enjoy it, we said this countless times before. As long as you enjoy it, it doesn't matter. It does look nice. Really tasty. Yeah. Where are we, Laura? And what are we getting? I've just enjoyed my teriyaki bao bun. Here we are at Cab. Kabuki Cafe. Kabuki Cafe. Ice. Just over there is where I got my bow bun. So it's literally just here and they do shaved ice. We saw someone walk past with them look amazing. What flavours of shaved ice have we got? We've got strawberry, melon, tangerine, cherry or blue raspberry. Also got condensed milk topping. Oh no, no, no. We've actually got sake slushies, which are the alcoholic flavours, which are blood orange, coconut pineapple, that'd be nice, and blackberry. I think I'm going to go for a cherry and raspberry mix. I'm going to go for a strawberry and raspberry mix. Oh, cherry and raspberry for me. I'm looking forward to this. It's like a slush, but you eat it with a spoon. Oh, yeah. Let's give this a go. Here we go, then. Basically like a snow cone. How is it? I am looking forward to trying mine now. Here's mine. So let's take a seat. Give these a go. Nice on these. are not as easy to uh, eat as a slush though. I know. It does go everywhere, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Hard to eat. Really good though. Yeah, nice. Well, I can't feel my tongue after that, Laura. My tongue frozen. <laughs> oh, yeah. that it was. Uh, no, it stayed, uh, yeah, very different to a slushy. Nice, I feel like slushies. Definitely try one of them. Eating it with the spoon, interesting. I've been converted into snow cone fan. Okay, snow cone fan. It does, uh, does freeze your tongue though. When you're finished, my tongue was like. Do you know what to be fair? That was really, really big, that. Well, so it was, um, I don't know, how much were they? Six for deep. Six for deep, but it didn't look much. I thought oh, that's going to be gone in two minutes, but it's not. It lasts a long time. And it does feel like you're eating quite a lot. Even though it's just, you know, water frozen and crushed up. But not too keen on the looks of those ones with the condensed milk on though. Saw a few of them coming out. A lot of them coming out. I don't think I can do it. Not sure about them. Do you know, we're just going to continue our little walk around. <coughs> and we'll see if anything else jumps out at us. Horror Night style. <laughs> My tongue's just about coming back to life now. It's half three in the afternoon and we've went and got a coffee each because we're just so tired. Just a little bit knackered getting in that last little Starbucks as well. I think we normally go for a little break now at the villa, but I think we're going to scrap the break and stick it out, I think. Really? Space. Yeah, just figured I'd have a coffee instead and plow oh on in it. I'd love to go back and just have a sit down. You're sitting down now, aren't you? Oh my God. Right, we'll see, we'll see where, how much energy I can keep up. 
if See, I am. The thing is, you know, now we're going to be sitting here and then the phone's going to go ding. Your boarding group is now available at Guardians. <laughs> and we ain't going to walk out, are we? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can wait in that line because even with the lightning lane, it was boarding group, it's still a long wait. It's not exactly lightning lane, is it? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. We'll have to see. Yeah. See how we get on. Okay, so you feel a bit better after your coffee, Laura? Yes, definitely needed that coffee. So I'm just going to answer a few more of your Q&A questions. Let's see what we've got here. So, calf.63, how's it going? Uh, do you ever just holiday? We appreciate the great content, but you time import. So, for us, I've always said this, vlogging is fun for us. Uh, I do it as a fun hobby. It's not my job. It's not my work. A lot of people say, oh, you know, why don't you go to different places and stuff? This is just where we like to holiday and the camera comes along with us. Yeah. It's, um, I don't see it that way. I enjoy it. If I couldn't get the vlogs up, I couldn't get them up. But I could. This trip, we've been taking little breaks and just yeah. doing a bit of editing. And you get quicker and quicker as you, you, every trip we do, we get more and more educated on, okay, I'll just slot this in now and I'll just edit now at this time. And that gives me time to do that. So. Yeah. You get more and more efficient, but no, we, I love the vlogging, love it, I don't see it as a job or anything like that. Uh, wouldn't you guys benefit from buying a holiday home in Windsor Hills? Owning a holiday home over here, very complicated. It's not something we're in the position to do anyway. Um, maybe one day be nice, but at the moment we're not in a position to do that. Would be nice though. Um, Favourite UK theme park, that's Inky Elf. Uh, probably have to say... Thorpe Park. It's close between Thorpe and Alton Towers. We've not done all of them though. I've got to say that we had a better day in Thorpe Park than we did in Alton Towers yes, last time. Yeah, Thorpe Park was really good. Actually, really, really was good. We enjoyed that. Went with some friends. We had a nice sunny day. It was. It was good. I do like Thorpe Park. Uh, let's see. Uh, Soul Work asks about mosquitoes in Florida. We've, again, we've mentioned this in this series a couple of times. If you're staying anywhere near water in the evening time when it's humid. Uh, anywhere like that, you're going to sit by a lake or anything like that in the evening time, especially in the summer, it can be quite bad for them. Yeah, and they will eat you alive. Yeah, whereas we've been walking around now, knocking around two weeks, not put any bug spray on or anything, not a single bite. I know I've got two little bites. Two little things, but yeah, not yeah, it's... yeah it's just depends because time's gone by and we've been in like the keys and we're watching the yeah that was by the ocean with sand and stuff just depends yeah. where you are if you're going anywhere in nature put some spray on yeah. uh, in the parks not really i don't think it's bad at all unless you're really prone to it or you react really badly make sure you protect yourself uh, let's see tommy tom tom how's it going what is the cheapest way of doing florida a package or diy we normally do a package so you'd have to price both always worth checking uh, you could find a package, find the flights, find the accommodation, and then make sure you go and price it separately. Sometimes it does come out cheaper. Normally the packages are slightly cheaper because they tie you in and you're, you're doing everything with them. Yeah. But you want a bit more flexibility and stuff, always do check separately as well. You might find a, a bit of a cheaper deal. Um, Virgin seem to be the most common for the packages. Virgin holidays seem to be oh, yeah, yeah. what most go with. Uh, for the package holidays over here. Uh, let's find one more. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Alano, how's it going? If you were to buy a property in Florida, which part would you pick and why? Uh, definitely be round here somewhere, definitely in definitely Kissimmee. Kissimmee. Yeah. Definitely in Kissimmee, um, as close to the park as we could afford, really. But yeah. In between. We've enjoyed being in between them both equally this In between's been good, yeah. Story Lake, good location. But yeah, you've got to be close to the parks. Kissimmee, get that rental income. Uh, everyone wants to be close to the parks. The Americans, not so much. The Americans are more about theming and the size of the homes. And, and what the, um, the complex... The community's the community got, like facilities, yeah. whereas the Brits are very, I want to be close to the parks, get there as quick as I can. So somewhere around the parks where you're going to get that rental income. The further out you go, the less you can charge and obviously and the, the less the harder to rent as well yeah. people want to be close so somewhere in Kissimmee area and now the good news is while we've done that we've just had the notification to go on to Guardian so I think so Laura's feeling more energized after your coffee I am yeah feel all right yeah I feel there you go so we're going to Guardian today <laughs> since we're here and we're not paying we paid every time so it'd be nice to do it for free for once 
and we'll go and give it a go, see how long the queue is. And then I think we're going to power through, no break. Power through, yeah. Stride on. Uh, don't forget, if you are enjoying the vlogs, it really does help us out if you give a thumbs up on them. The little like button underneath the videos doesn't cost you anything or anything like that. It just boosts the algorithm, so do make sure you give that like button a, a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because we've got future Florida trips going to be coming up. I'm pretty sure we can never resist. Uh, loads of other Florida series on the channel as well and lots of vlogs to come still from this trip about 18 19 vlogs so make sure you do hit the subscribe button again it's free all it's going to do is let you know when we upload those vlogs it's going to uh, notify you that we've uploaded again and what vlog it is so make sure you subscribe too uh, anything with that subscribing commenting everything again it's all free a lot of people get confused with the word subscribe they think you've got to pay and stuff like that it's all free all you've got to have is a free G google gmail account so you can go onto Gmail, make a free account, an email account, and then you use that same email address and password in the YouTube app, uh, log in, and then you can comment, you can contribute, you can ask questions, you can like videos, you can help creators uh, by liking stuff, you can subscribe, get notified when new videos go up. So uh, do make sure you subscribe. A lot of people get confused with that and they think it's like a, a paid for platform and stuff. It's not, so do bear that in mind. But right, let's head to Guardians. Excited. Well, when you see that spaceship outside, you know it's time. You know it's time. What song are we going to get? The excitement starts to build. What song do you think in Laura? Oh my God. I'm going to go with September this time. I'm going to go with the Congress song again. I'm going to go with September because it would just be so us to get September and now yeah. it's October. <laughs> <laughs> it would be. It really would. Oh, here we go. Virtual queue. 98 to 113 and we are group 108 just about in this little group here not bad uh, we got straight in i was as quick as i humanly possibly could be and um yeah it's not too bad a couple of hours There's some funny bits in this queue line talking about turkey legs now i've got an important transmission coming in hey what's up Melbourne? Our cosmic generator has been stolen. What? How? What do we think of that? That thing's gotta be worth a fortune. I am Groot. Good question. Yeah. So we're nearly there. How long has it been to this point then, Laura? Um, Started the queue at four o'clock. Forty minutes to here. So, I mean, when you've been waiting all day for your return time, not great. then you're nearly looking, you're looking at a good 40, 50 minute wait. But at least we haven't paid this time. What's on, Laura? I'm going September. Oh, I'm excited now. Here we go. Best ride in Disney World. Great. What is the noise? No one's going to stop rock and roll from existing. What have we done? What have we done? I think we're jumping back. Great ride. As always, uh, we've got Iban again. Well, it was worth the wait. Was worth it. Made up. We did it. Fantastic. Just make sure you're really on it with getting the um, those uh, groups joining the virtual queue. As I've said before, get that world clock. Laura had the world clock on her phone. Yeah. The minute it hit 12:59:59, refresh, join, bang, go. Got to be really fast. That was fantastic. That. That was a good final Disney ride. Oh yeah, brilliant. That's going to be our last Disney ride of the trip and what I want to end on. Amazing. Oh, could do that all day. All day. Definitely worth the hype, in my opinion. Again, my favourite part, the carts is going around the moon. Oh yeah, going around the, the moon, yeah. yeah. The way the carts turn and everything. I know, it's just amazing, the technology in it, isn't it? Mind-blowing. We're going to have a quick little look in the Creation Store on our uh, way out. Then I think we said we might go to might go to International Drive or we might go to a restaurant somewhere. And know. then we decide, can we? Yeah, we struggle deciding these days, don't we? And we're thinking maybe Disney Springs. Yeah, so we need to find a last out little wonder. We, before we even get to iDrive, drive, what we want to eat really because we don't want to get down there and not be able to find anything. No, yeah, we want to have a look at the iDrive restaurants and just check. We've enjoyed iDrive this trip. Yeah, we Especially in the evening time, we've been enjoying it. So uh I know a lot of people saying I drive's changed and things, but we found it really good. Yeah. Really good. Oh, yeah. uh, we haven't, you know, we haven't done like Icon Park or like many of the attractions, but walking around and stuff, I've enjoyed it. Right, let's have a quick look in Creation Shop. 
Well, Laura, they've got your size. It's the new Spirit jersey. You did say you wanted a black one. I like it. It is nice, isn't it? This has just come out a couple of days ago. Yeah, what do you reckon? It is nice. It just gives me gives me like a Tower of Terror, Guardians of the Galaxy vibes, yeah, you know, with the glittery. Yeah, like but then we have got a white dog. I know, we'd have to be really careful. Got a white fluffy dog. Okay, yeah, there's plenty in there for now. They're all sold out the other day. I absolutely love this. It's just a shame we don't drink from that style cup. It's the Starbucks one, but I love that. It's really nice if they had it in a mug or something instead. But uh, don't, we don't drink those sort of sippy cup drinks. Yeah, I wonder if it's for hot and cold drinks. Possibly, but still, I wouldn't drink from a straw. Oh, yeah, only for cold. Only cold, there you go. I like my lime and I like, you know, like um, what they're called now, refreshers and stuff like that. So I'm going to try one of these power limes, sour lime taffy. Brilliant few hours in Epcot there. We really did enjoy it. Those last yeah. few hours are always, uh, always quite sort of special. Yeah, I mean... It's a shame really because you don't really get that super super appreciation or that like thing until you're going home a lot of you will understand it of course you appreciate and love being here on that last day it's like a different feeling isn't it yeah it is let it's me like know if you all get that yeah yeah if you all get that you're like so you've got this that feeling in your stomach where you're like oh this is gonna be the last time it's like yeah it does get to you so we're gonna go from here to disney springs which is just across the way uh, we're going to have a wander around there, last little look at some of the shops and although we're not going to be buying anything, especially now Laura's got the spirit jersey that she wanted, good news is you can wear a spirit jersey through the airport. So you can layer up on your clothes as well. Don't forget, to, uh, to either tonight or tomorrow when we pack, Laura's going to be showing you everything that we bought. So we're going to be doing a little bit of a uh, shopping haul, show everything that we bought and also show you us packing and how much we get in our cases to get home. Because a lot of you are saying, how are you going to get all this stuff you bought home? So we'll see. Hopefully we do. Yeah. But yeah, Laura's going to show you all of that uh, at some point. So yeah, we're going to do Disney Springs, a little wander around. Then I think we're going to eat in Disney Springs. We might go for a Splitsville. It's a little bit pricier than it used to be Splitsville, but we do love it. Uh, or we might end up getting suckered in for another another Blaze and Chicken guys. Although yeah. we've had quite a few of them. You're probably quick. sick of seeing them, but they're, they're, yeah, they're all nice. Easy for us, aren't they? Yeah, we like them. Yeah. So we'll see how we get on there. Then we're going to go to iDrive. So we'll go back to International Drive. Evening vibes. And then we'll have a little mooch around there. And the milkshake the Laura get a nice milkshake from that place. Uh, we'll see what happens down there. And then from there, we'll either go back home, depending on how tired we are, or we have the option. Again, leaving things optional. We have the option to pop it into Horror Nights if we want to uh, from my drives. Just a little hop up to uh, Universal. We were talking about jobs earlier and what you do at Disney. I think I'd really enjoy being on that. Behind the yellow line. I would be, I'd be, uh, I'd be a nightmare, wouldn't I? Oh my God. Driving past people, way, you missed the tram, way. <laughs> Imagine. Behind the yellow line, pull down on those left bars. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll be me. That'll be me. You are parked in Dory. <laughs> that is D-O-R-Y Dory. <laughs> right, find the car. And uh, Disney Springs it is. Last time we were in Disney Springs we did that balloon lore of the balloon ride. Oh, feels oh. like some of it feels like yonks ago. And some of the holiday feels like yesterday. I just can't believe how quick the holidays has gone. Like, this has got to be one of the quickest holidays we've had. Definitely. It's just, just gone so quick, this trip. I don't know why. I don't know whether it's maybe staying in three different villas. Uh, maybe it makes it feel quicker, although it hasn't taken that much time because we did it quite cleverly. We checked out, went straight to a park, whatever. We didn't really waste time checking in and out, especially with just hand luggage. But whether staying in three different places made it feel... Uh, a bit quicker, you've well, got the maybe keys. Maybe the fact that we didn't um, go on a cruise or anything like that. Yeah, maybe. I mean, definitely next trip as well. There's so many things you always go, next trip we'll do this. Yeah. I'd like yeah. to do a little night on the coast. Maybe try and do a 18-day oh, yeah. trip. And do like a little night somewhere on the coast would be nice. We didn't manage to make it to any rocket launches or any yeah. trips to Clearwater or Daytona would be a nice little night. A uh, night up in Daytona. So yeah, there's always future things. People always say, why'd you come back to Florida? That's a question for you lot as well. 
anyone who's watching who comes quite often it can be every few years or you come and you just want to come back what is it that keeps you coming back to florida because we just end up leaving and we're like right we didn't do this didn't do this didn't do this we've got to go and do it yeah it's it's like addictive a lot of people wonder why we come here and as i said vlogging is not our job it's not our living we just do this for fun this is where we love to come on holiday at home we work seven days a week so the way we calculate it is although we, we come a lot people go you go on holiday all the time when we're back it's seven days a week it's like a solid three or four months seven days a week always on call with the cars we're gonna have the bar now as well so if you count up those three three four months without any weekends normally people work you know five days a week two days off if you add up all those two days off a week that we would or should have that then works out to be like a 14 16 day holiday yeah so that's sort of how we work it and think about it all right disney springs time seatbelts buckle from left to right left to right only so here we are in Land Garage, um, nice and central to all the shops next to the Ron John shop and the Polite P. It's a nice little location for us to go and have a walk around. Um, we'll see what shops want to go into. Uh, we're not buying anything today, but it's always nice to have a look and see what's going on because you just never know what you're going to see. You might find um, something that's amazing. Right, oh, okay. Start, start off to the right. To okay, so we're going to work our way towards Split, Splitsville anti-clockwise. Yeah. Yes, always it will. a little bit of a breeze in there, doesn't it, Springs? Yeah, there is. Right here on the camera is always a bit of a breeze, which is quite nice if you're looking to escape. Oh, yeah. Somewhere a little bit cooler. Because right. Epcot was really hot, wasn't it? Breeze down here. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll do that. We'll have a little walk around and maybe something will jump out that we have to buy, but I doubt it. We're done now for buying. Yeah, we are done buying now. I know, I'm, I'm dreading packing. Well, no, I'm not. I know we can do it because your backpack wasn't even near full on the way out, was it? No, but you know, I'm not like Superman here, you know what I mean? And yeah, I know. We can do it. We can sort something out. I forgot about getting back to Tenerife. That's oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that did slip my mind to be fair. Let me own devices, I'd be bankrupt. I'd, I'd be a mess. It's good because I've got Andrew here to pull me back. Telling you, you've seen those um, TikToks where the husband's holding the wife's hand and people think it's romantic. It's not. So the wife's going to go off and buy all and buy all everything and spend all the money. <laughs> so yeah, we're in the shop now. Let's see what they've got in here. Is there anything different in here? And you see there's a light that he is all lit up. They look really nice, all lit up. Really pretty. I've not seen him, but he's expensive for a teddy bear. I'm telling you. Limited edition. Yeah. But yeah, there's always some nice stuff that you can see in here because they have lots. They've got loads in here. I generally buy something from here because I can just see what's going on a bit better. But as I say, we're not in a position to buy. I'll just have a look and enjoy looking around. So as we do know, it is the Jewish holiday right now, Passover. But I just want to show you all these for Hanukkah. So it's really nice that people who are in this religion, Judaism is it called? I've got this option to have their religion in Disney. That's really nice. It's really pretty with the little dreidels on it. Dreidel, dreidel. So they're nice. So yeah, celebrating Hanukkah as well. So really nice to have something like that for different religions and different people. They are really, really nice. Where we're in now, the best smelling shop in Disney Springs. This place smells unreal. We're in Chiardelli and the smells in here are absolutely stunning. Just get a bag of them minis, take me home, sit in the villa, storm outside, bag of Chiardelli chocolate. Yum, yum, yum. See, again, I'm going to say it at the end of the holiday. I always say we should have a day in just sitting and chilling by the villa and all that. And then you never yeah. do it. Shall we get a couple of pieces? Um, I could either get, don't go, I don't think you can just get a couple yeah, though, can. is it? It goes by weight, doesn't it? Don't you have to fill the bag? No, just a couple in. You want just a couple, do you? Just a couple. It goes by the pounds, so you have to weigh it and all that. It goes, yeah, you, you don't have to buy pounds. Right, okay. So let's do. have a look. So, 
So approximately 25 squares is 18.95. But um, just met some lovely subscribers again that we've met before uh, in uh, well the Disney shop, going on a nice cruise. Independence of the seas, like we did. I hope you do enjoy it. What have we got there? Milk chocolate caramel apple. Mm, no. Oh, we've got almost like a Taylor Swift going round on a pumpkin here. You got There you go. Goosebumps. We're trying to get Spider-Man to decorate. Shake, shake, shake it. Here in the uh, Christmas shop. This used to be where all the candles were. Yeah. Uh, they're getting their own shop very soon. In about a month or so, they're getting their own shop here in Disney Springs. Uh, so they're still in the co-op. They're still being sold in the co-op. But uh, the Disney, you know, the way you make them and all that, they had a whole section here. It was um, only temporary anyway. Uh, they're getting their own shop here, oh, which is... Uh, they're still about their own shop, I imagine. Yeah, they'll have all the candle making and stuff again in their own one. Let's quickly check the art store. And it's time for some din dins. So am I, peckish now. I do like all three of these. I like the Silver Mickey. I like the Doom Buggy. But I also like this one as well from Haunted Mansion. That little scene you go through. Some really good one of the ones of these. These are all the uh, Disney traditions. Got a couple of those at home already. Christmassy stuff. Not much different in here though from when we were in here the other day. So I think they're pretty much all done. As you make our way around, you've got the full corksicle stand here. Really popular these now for your water and stuff. Let's quickly have a look at what cool designs they've got. Hi, yeah. He's got quite a few cool Disney designs there. Love the Lion King one. They're lovely, just subtle. Yeah, you've got all of them here. Very popular these now. More Disney ones here. Have any of you done the boathouse and have any of you done the Amphrey car experience? If you have, let me know if it was worth it or not. We always look at it, never quite do it. If you've done it, let me know what you thought of it. This here where they launch the cars into the water, those special Amphrey cars that turn from a car to a boat, take you out on the lake. If any of you've done this, was it good? Was it worth it? They look really cool though, they look, I'd love to do it. This time of night as well. Oh yeah, sunset now, it's perfect time to go and do it, isn't it? So yeah, let us know in the comments if you've done it. Was it good? Was it worth it? So Laura, I don't want dinner, I wanna, and I don't want to go to International Drive, and I don't want to go to Horror Nights, okay? I want to go and stand in that line there at Gideon's for a cookie instead, okay? So I'll see you in a few hours. I'll, I'll have a cookie. <laughs> so there's another question. We just asked about the boathouse. Have any of you had these Gideon's cookies? Are they worth the wait? Are they worth the big line? Let us know. Again, it's another thing we look at, but I can never bring myself to get in that queue line. Are they worth it, those uh, Gideon's cookies? You got the Oakley shop there. They normally do like a, you get a couple of pairs, you get the third price, third pair half price. Don't want to do little deals if a few of you are going to get some Oakleys. And Paradiso 37, is that closed? Uh, it's open, they're just uh, refurbing this little section there by the looks of it. Tell you what, it's now half six, all of a sudden. Gone they're very lively down here. I think a few people have headed out to the parks and come down for some dinner and a drink. Oh yeah, there's just so many, you don't even realise how many people that park, soak up and stuff. Yeah, golden hour down here, lovely time to come in. The Edison there, another one we've never tried. Oh, they've cracked on with this since we were here last. The summer house on the lake, this looks like it's going to be good. This looks nice. Pictures of cookies and steaks and stuff. Be nice to try that next time. Look at that, Laura, the steak and chips on there. Summer house, and if they've got lake views out the back, that's gonna be gorgeous, isn't it? Sitting by the side of the lake, like now, golden hour. That'll be lovely in there. Good looking pizzas as well, look. This is due to open, uh, I think in a few months, hopefully. See it open. Pastas, and I think it's gonna be like a nice big steakhouse. 
so it is opening this year definitely 2023 uh, this is where we're planning on coming splitsville see if we can uh, nab a table a seat we can people watching here and uh, i've just been looking at uh, this here can you be addicted to disney parks just come up recommend a proper news story and there's actually now a um a psychologist who's like broken down what can lead people to visiting over and over again funny after me asking it's like my phone listens isn't it yeah and i'm just saying as, as humans we're, we're like pleasure seekers yeah. love seekers. love feeling happy so your brain tells you obviously you want to if you've had a good time here you want to come back and do it again yeah. and it's not just the rides it's the smells the sights the merchandise yeah. And because obviously you've, you've had a good time, your brain's like, you want to go back there, you enjoyed What's that. The same with Tenerife, isn't it? It's, yeah. You've had a great time, you want to go back. Yeah, yeah you've enjoyed that, you've enjoyed the ocean and the sunshine, you need to go back and do that again. Your, your brain is telling you it wants, you wants more of it. Exactly yeah. It, yeah, definitely. So we've got a seat outside. Remember, Splitsville outside seating is uh, it's just first come, first serve, yeah. grab, grab whatever table you want. Uh, they don't seat you inside, uh, outside, it's inside that they seat you. I'm looking forward to it. Swears, sweet and spicy bowl, I think, chicken bowl. You always get, yeah. Love it, don't we? Yeah, it's lovely vibes down here tonight. Watching people go in. Nice golden hour. It's our last golden hour, Laura, last night. Sad times, isn't it? we go then look at this food this looks gorgeous laura's grilled chicken on that one got the french fries and then uh, there's mine with the uh, regular chicken look gorgeous don't they get quite a lot as well smells amazing, nice yeah. to see some veggies yes <laughs> so good little meal in spitzville it did come to 75 dollars for what we had which was a coke sprite and two chicken bowls so it's uh, certainly not cheap but we enjoy it in there so uh, it is what it is. It used to go quite a few times each trip, but it's only a one, one time yeah, each trip thing price, now with the price of it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is a lot. Uh, don't forget as well, you can always get your, if you do get a soft drink and you get like a refill, you can always get an extra drink to take away. That applies to everywhere. There you go. That's where the candle shop's going to be uh, in there. Well spotted, Laura, next to the Pele Soccer. But yeah, don't forget, anywhere you go, if you get a fountain drink, you can always ask them for a to-go cup of what you've got and uh, they will give it to you free of charge. So uh, the likes of us, we're gonna walk with some extra drinks. We'll make sure we've got uh, an extra one each, but don't forget that for people who haven't visited before, if you do have a fountain drink and it's you know, refills in the restaurant, they will give you a to-go one for free as well. So always worth grabbing one to go. Uh, you can never drink enough over here, even if you just keep it with you in the car or whatever. Candy apples going on. Right, I'm going to wander back towards Chiardelli. I might get a Sunday. If not, we're going to then jump in the car and head towards uh, I Drive. I love this guy. He's here all the time. He's just out dancing, loving life. His glittery outfit, he loves it. He absolutely loves it. <laughs> He has some good fun. If you've seen him before, he's always around. Just loves the music. Look at him, ready to go again. Mm -hmm. All right, this next one has a huge sing-along chorus coming up to it. So we need to hear the Disney Springs Choir turn out for us this evening, all right? So when we get to that chorus, we want to hear you belt it out nice and strong. Just gonna grab myself a little cheeky dessert here in Chardelli. There's the brownies. Cones look good as well, don't they? Oh, there they all are. Look at all the different Sundays. Hot fudge Sunday. I get a mini hot fudge Sunday. Is can I get? We got there, Laura. Chocolate covered strawberry. Nice. I've gone for a little mini hot fudge Sunday. Look at that. That's a mini one as well. Yeah, right size, still $11 though for that. Here we are then on International Drive. We're just parked at uh, Icon Park. 
don't forget levels four to seven are free parking uh, we're gonna go get laura a milkshake and then we're gonna take a walk down the other end where we haven't been yet uh, up past the starfire in the other direction so we'll grab laura's milkshake and then we'll take a little bit of a wander just come into the oxygen bar we're thinking we're gonna have a little go at the oxygen bar so this just leaves you feeling rejuvenated so it's all on there the air we breathe is 21 percent oxygen the rest is nitrogen and pollutants 90 percent oxygen helps with the hangovers and fatigue and everything yeah. so i'm thinking we might do it it's uh make no mistake it looks a bit thingy this is not drugs or anything like that we're just breathing very like 90 percent oxygen yeah. so it's good for you it makes you feel energized uh, so it might give it a go, it's $40, but you do get a little sample of some massage thing and stuff. Yeah, we, we're, we're flagging, aren't we? We're flying yeah, tomorrow. Go, go, go. We're planning on going to Horror Nights after this, so we could do with a boost. Right, so we're giving it a go. We're going to be nice and fresh for HHN here. Yeah, okay. Right, guys, so I've gone nuts. What they've got is a bit of a happy hour, so I'm doing the, the oxygen for 20 minutes, and then I'm going to add all of these vitamins in as well for an extra $28. This best be good. I best feel phenomenal after this, Laura. I best be going around Hover Night's houses till half two in the morning. I remember when I was done it, I was Right. I've always said that we wanted to try it, so we've got a little bit left in our holiday budget. Last night, we'll give it a go. Let's see how we feel. It could, could really help with the travel. The lady said it really helps with jet lag, headaches, fatigue, um, hangovers, really bad tiredness, insomnia. So we're seeing, I mean, there's a lot of people in here doing it, so we're going to give it a go. So they've also got in here these massages where you can stay completely dry and they're like a water massager, $35. That looks like you'd get soaked, but you're underneath that plastic. It feels like you're getting a massage from, uh, from head to toe. Didn't quite fancy that, it looked unusual to me, but it's an interesting concept. So you're underneath the plastic sheet, you stay completely dry, completely dry, fully clothed and the water massage you through the plastic. But today we're gonna sit at this oxygen bar instead. See how, we, see how we get on here. So we're a little bit into our session. We've tried all the massage guns. It's all nice and relaxing. We're trying a, little, a couple of the massage simulators yeah, got going on. Already, yeah, this is all just pure oxygen. Feels good, a bit of vitamins going in as well. Just hydrating, revitalizing. And your wellness vitamins, it's quite relaxing using the little massage guns. You can play with them yourself as well, but the lady does come and give you a little back massage and stuff. Yeah. So you're getting all set up with the, uh, the stimulators, yeah. yeah? Feel good? Yeah, I feel like a tickle. Yeah. Do you feel more energised from yeah. the oxygen? I feel awake. Ready for HHN? I am. So we're now playing with one of these, these electrode massages, a bit like a slender tone belt. I don't know if you can see how my shoulders, but I'm like good, 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 good. You see it? I can in real life. So, but one of the, on the top, on the lower, all different massage settings on here. You can play with different intensity. We do one more, Laura, then I'm gonna. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's intense, that one. What, Mum? What was that? Do you want me to do it for you? No. No, I'm gonna go on. No, I'll do it myself. No, don't touch mine. Okay, well, that one. Breathe here in uh, I Drive. I do feel good. I do feel uh, a bit rejuvenated. Feel good. Feel lights on my feet. Yeah. Yeah. I do feel a lot. Yeah, I do feel like energized. What she said was, you're gonna get like the, the sort of energy level that you'd get from drinking an energy drink, but it's not gonna be like that hit of caffeine sort of thing it's like a nice you know natural way of getting a bit of an energy boost relax your muscles some of it it's probably a bit of a gimmick i suppose i got the vitamins added in you're never going to actually see if they went in or whatever but i, I think they're, they're pretty good the girls were lovely as well and they got the little, massage little massages really. there was no hard sale i thought oh, we're going to get a hard sale on the guns and stuff at the end there wasn't she just it's just out part of the 40 yes. that you pay is a bit of a massage as well so uh, yeah thought it was pretty decent to be fair probably have one again we'll see how we feel in about an hour yeah when it wears off a little bit see if uh, we're still as energized 
So yeah, it looks like some form of, you know, crazy, crazy thing. It's just oxygen and a bit of a massage, a bit of a rejuvenation. So we're still going to go and get Laura her um, milkshake. And then uh, I think we're going to head into Hover Nights for a little bit. So let's see if it, uh, you know, gets us going. See if we uh, can uh, last. We're going to head in at about half ten. Half ten, eleven. Those last few hours, a little bit quieter. See if we can get some houses done. Well, we realised how far away it was and jumped in the car and brought yeah. you. Is it just as good, Laura? This is Jojo's, isn't it? Jojo Shakes. Yeah, Shake One. Oh, it's expensive, but that's amazing. Now, we, Laura had one of these the other night. If you haven't seen it, we did do a full um, iDrive tour at night. We did a big walk around, went to some of the shops, restaurants and stuff. Uh, so if you haven't seen that, it's a two hour, 50 minute vlog. Do oh check God, it out. Really? It's on the channel. Yeah, wow. it was a real long, good in-depth tour of what iDrive's like at the moment. Uh, looked through some of the restaurants, the menus, stuff like that. So that's when you had it, loved it, and you come back for another one, yeah? Yeah. Once we go back home, no milkshakes, none of this stuff. America's no more ice cream and yeah. stuff like that, yeah. So last one today. Right. Uh, we're going to trundle towards Universal now, I think. See about going into Horror Nights for a little bit. Take a little trundle down. Laura will give you some views out the window of iDrive. Or uh, some milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, we're in ET462. We've not been in ET for a long, long time. So we're here now, people are still coming in this time of night at half ten. People are still coming in, doing our little trick, coming in late and doing the um, houses when they're a bit quieter. So we'll go in, hopefully it won't be too busy, but you never know. So we'll see what it's like and see what houses we can get done, if any. Well, most of the traffic is heading out and that's good for us. Plenty of people who've had enough by now. If you're staying for a stay and scream from like five o'clock, by the time you get to 11, you've been running around and queues and everything, you are a little bit tired. A lot of people head out. So all of this traffic heading the opposite way is good for us. So while the crowds uh, die down, we're going to have a little ride on Mummy now. Everything's dropped to about 40 minutes. Let it continue to drop, hopefully. We'll have a little go on uh, Mummy. Just coming to the Men in Black shop, I've got myself a nice icy. Just uh, having a nice wander around, soaking in the atmosphere. Just spotted this spirit jersey in Men in Black. And it is literally exactly the same as the one Laura got today. Just checked that as well. Same, same brand and everything, look. There you go, so if you want the spirit jersey but you like a bit of men in black, you can get a men in black version. What's on the back, Laura? It's two fins, nice. Glow in the dark. Yeah. Nice. It looks nice as well. Yeah, it's quite good with the leather yeah. effects. So there you go. Exact same spirit jerseys, Just same make and everything are all yeah, here in Universal. Yeah, Universal and Disney saving the same spirit jersey manufacturer. Interesting. Yeah. Well, Laura beat me on Men in Black. Laura hit the red button and beat me to the bonus. I was whooping you till then. I was on 90 odd, you're only on 25. Then she hit the red button and that was it. My gun wasn't working very well, or the mirror seat's not very good to like get me to. Ah, see, his excuses coming out now. She's still one, he's giving excuses about the guns. I know. That's out of you, one every time now. I think so. You won Toy Story Mania, you yeah. won Buzz and Woody's and you won that one. Oh yeah. You normally used to moan that uh, I was the one beating you. So in terms of um, it dying off and crowd levels dropping, not much has changed just yet. And I don't know whether just now it's October, I've said this before. It's like woomph. October, it's just... Yeah, so just just be a complete different ball game. It just switches, and that ties in with Horror Nights selling the. They do the cheaper frequent fear for the month of September. Then once it hits October, it stops, and you have to get the full one. So it does tie in with those crowd levels doing that. It will be interesting to see, though. I do have a little bit of a theory that with them building Epic Universe, Epic Universe is going to be huge, the same size of. 
Universal and Islands of Adventure together. It's going to be massive. So, could we see Horror Nights move into Epic Universe when it's finished and open? Could be a good possibility if they're think thinking ahead. Too, yeah. If they're thinking ahead as well, they'd be they'd be making sure they leave plenty of room <laughs> to put houses in in the construction of it all now. So we could see this event get bigger, better, and be in the big new park. Let me know your thoughts on that one. A lot of people are already saying it needs to go to two parks again. But I think they could just move the whole event into Epic Universe. Huge new park, loads of space. If they're thinking about doing that, they could already be making sure they leave plenty of space for houses to go in. And lines, because again, this year we've seen this change in the way the lines have put these forms, haven't we? Yeah, lines all around the back. If they're thinking ahead and do, thinking of that, they can make sure they leave spaces for lines for houses. They could plan it all out, have proper permanent spaces for the houses every year. Rather than like makeshift and get floats out after the yeah. So it'll be interesting. I mean, there is space for 11 houses in here. Uh, because normally there is one in the Shrek building. Yeah. They didn't put one in the Shrek building this year because obviously they were still constructing um, Villain Con. So technically we could see an 11th house, house next year because they moved the one that is normally in Shrek into Fast and Furious. Yeah. So they could squeeze an 11th house in here uh, next year when they can put one back in the Villain Con if they've left the space in Villain Con, Villain Con for it. They might not have left any space for one. Really interesting. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Could do you think it I think it would be good, but do you think they will move Horror Nights into uh, Epic Universe when it opens? Big park, loads of space. Let me know your thoughts. Right, so we are just packing, it's around 2 a.m. But before we put everything away, yeah, everything's a, a big mess right now. <laughs> Just want to quickly show you some things that we bought because I don't know whether we've shown everything on the videos, but we'll show you everything now. So the first thing is this oh, absolute gorgeous Tommy Hill figure bag. I had to have it. It's such a nice little bag. It's got three little sections. It's got my socks in there now. Three nice little sections in it. That was about $60. So, gorgeous bag, absolutely love it. Then I got these socks on Columbia. Oh, I might actually. Ooh. We're appear to travel home in tomorrow. So, they were really, really comfy. They're really, really thick, really, really comfy. So, I'm happy with them. Then, of course, my Beauty and the Beast book. I'm going to use that for the bar, along with the pen. That's going to go so cute in the bar. <laughs> Then I brought this top. This is the Rocks range. Now he's got a gorgeous range of clothes, gym wear, but he does the crop tops and the leggings, not crop tops and shorts. So you need to get on that. But I brought that top. Really, really like it. And I just bought a nice little gym outfit. There you go, from Under Armour. So a nice light green and dark green teal. Really, really pretty. I do like my Under Armour. I think that was about 50 quid, not even that. Really, really cheap. Well, I say really cheap. Affordable for what it is. Then, of course, my big spirit jersey. There you go. And I'll show you the back. So this is in um, the 100 Years of Wonder. With a big Mickey... Oh, the firework on the back. It's really nice. They've got um, bags and ears and everything to match that. So if you really wanted to go wild, you could do that. Then, of course, me Madame Leota, me Haunted Mansion ears, which glow in the dark. Really, really nice. Again, I really wanted the bag to go with this. But, alas, I have already brought enough. So that as well. i got this water bottle. I just had to have it. I just... It just called to me. Nice water bottle. Nice little holder. That'll do behind the bar. Nice and small to fit underneath the bar. And that was $25. Not a bad price. We, of course, got some Giardelli chocolate. Only a couple. And look, it's got poppers in the bag. So we've just got a couple of little Giardelli chocolates. We'll have them. I'll probably have to take them out of that bag because that bag's quite hefty. Now, this stuff, I brought three of these. 
if you're in America, get them. They're the best things you'll ever, ever use. The best students are like six, seven dollars at the most. But it's it works. I tell you, it works. It's amazing. So if you're out here, definitely, definitely get it. Then I got this little outfit from Lululemon. So you've seen the little green top. And the sort of... Ooh, let's have a look. It's really difficult. The skirts, shorts. Ooh, there you go. So we got that. That was around about 60 dollars for that but that's super cute i'm gonna look very very cute in the gym and that because it's a bit different and then you've got a columbia cap you've not even worn it yet that was 30 dollars so we best get wearing that but it's a nice cap it looked nice on them so you like that then let's have a look we brought many many sachets of prime many sachets hopefully they'll all fit in us once you open the box, let me see if I can open it with one hand. Let me see. Once you open the box, no, I can't. They are quite small. Oh, here we go. Oh, there you go. So you should be able to get those in, hopefully. We got Lydia some homemade taffy. Saltwater taffy. She likes taffy. This is homemade. We got this from the Celebration Market. We've also got Paul, a wallet. Nice wallet. Oh, nearly forgot my purse. So, getting the bar and having all the cards, I needed a bigger purse. So, I got my purse to add, add in my cupboards for a while. And I got it out. And because I'd left it in there for that long, it sort of started rotten. So, I've just brought this one. This was... It wasn't 64 It was on sale. That was the actual price. But, nice. Very nice, really nice colour. So, notes, coins, cards in there. Then you've got this, which comes out as well. And that's got cards in it. You can put your notes and your things in there as well. So, I got that. I forget how much that was, but I know it wasn't 64 because I wouldn't pay 64 for a purse. Or oh, would I? I don't know, but that's nice. And it'll last. It'll last. Of course my junior mint little one so when i get back and back on my diet so these that one little box will be my treat just one little box that'll be my treat so that'll be really good for me i don't know what i'm meant to do with these because i thought i was going to eat these but these if you again in america get them you, you won't be sorry some fudge striped goody girl cookies i love goody girl cookies however i don't know how i'm going to fit them in then I've got just two little small packs of M&M's minis. And I don't know why I brought this. Because it's massive. And I don't think it's going to go in whatsoever. So I'm not too impressed. Then of course, Andrew brought his Into the Fog. See you in the fog top. And he brought this shirt. And a shirt in a lighter colour, which is in the wash right now. And he brought his dad one. And I bought myself a Halloween Horror Nights top. So we've done well. We, we bought too much, really. And I don't forget my gorgeous... Let me get it. <sighs> Lounge fly. So now I'm trying to pack it all and get everything in as much as possible. So we'll sort that out. It's going to take a while. We're going to be up to like three or four in the morning. So I'm not too happy. But I'll get it in. And then once I've got it all in, I'll show you how I've done it all. Okay, so we're getting there all strategically packed. We are nearly there. We've got the rucksack there as well. I'm getting there, Laura. We're nearly there. Nearly there, nearly, nearly. sorted. Yeah. But, um, so I'm going to carry this bag through. All right. Put stuff in that bag because technically you can't stop it from buying stuff the other side. Right. And there's a Disney shop to the side, so I'll, I'll take that through. Okay. So hopefully we'll get told off for that. Hopefully it's quite flight as well. Hopefully. Yeah. We'll so, see. Yeah, we gave we're a pretty all. Now. We're getting there. Certainly getting there. Yeah. Well, that's going to conclude our vlog for today. Do tune in tomorrow for our travel home day. Uh, we're going to be up. We're going to do some little bits in the morning. Nothing too crazy. And then fly back to Manchester. And we'll let's see the family and stuff. So do stay tuned in for tomorrow. If you enjoyed this vlog, do let me know in the comments. Uh, hit the subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. 
and uh, stride on.